would you please introduce yourself to us? Yes. Um, I'm Alistair Burt. I'm the uh, Foreign Office at the uh, British Foreign and Commonwealth Office who are responsible for counter-terrorism issues and for the Middle East. Mm -hmm. uh, actually, uh, as a group, we are against radicalism and extremism and bigotry, of course. And uh, we are... Uh, I, I would like to ask you uh, what is the solution uh, to eradicate, eradicate radicalism and extremism in the whole world? I mean... Um. I think if there was one simple answer to that, we would all be very pleased. It, it's very complex. Mm -hmm. I think there are a number of different things. We must look for those issues that uh, those who are wicked would prey upon. I think poverty is one area where people look to find those who would be made to commit wicked acts. I think education has a huge part to play. Yes. Uh, I think those, uh, those with a strong faith should be confident in that faith but confident that it leads to peace. It doesn't lead to bigotry and separateness. Mm -hmm. So I think education has a huge role to play. Yes. Actually, we don't uh, believe in the term uh, Muslim terrorist, Christian terrorist, or Jewish terrorist, because uh, I can give you some examples uh, from Torah as an example. Uh, there is a uh, passage which says, uh, don't kill, don't steal. It is very obvious. Uh, killing is uh, forbidden. And uh, there is a passage uh, in the uh, Christian Bible, and uh, it says you should love, uh, love thy neighbor. The, uh, the human beings like you, you love yourself. And uh, I can give you an example from Quran, a verse, and uh, Allah says, God says, uh, saving one person is uh, like saving the whole humanity, and killing one person is killing the whole humanity. So according to three divine religions, uh, killing is forbidden. Uh, that's why uh, one cannot be a terrorist uh, and a sincere believer at the same time. Can I have your opinion? Well, I think who believe that it is possible to work out many issues without recourse to violence, and many people of faith believe that. Um, I think you're right to say uh, in association and with particular religions. Um, is, is not the right thing to do. Uh, in, in all religions, there are those who use their, their faith in order to separate and to provide an excuse for what they do. But I think most of us believe that is what it is. It is people of violence and wickedness will always find a reason to justify what they do. But they should not use faith. That millions, billions of people around the globe look to faith as something that sustains them, uh, sustains their relationships with their neighbours for good reasons, for peaceable reasons. What people of different faiths should do is talk more about that than talk about those things uh, which people have corrupted for the sake of violence. We also believe uh, that terrorists have uh, different uh, They are uh, very realistic. Mm. And uh, I don't people. They're using uh, the name of God uh, to kill people, but uh, manner, I mean, they, they are not religious believing. So education is set. Yes. And uh, we also believe in the brotherhood of the Christians and Muslims and Jews, and uh, we should uh, increase the brotherhood of Christians, Muslims and Jews. What do you, you want to say about it? You will find the British Foreign and Commonwealth Office absolutely behind that, uh, that principle. And as a practicing Christian believer, uh, that's something, and I have friends in, in all religions, uh, that's something that we can share together. We should emphasize the positive aspects of our faiths, yes. not the things that, are, that other used to be negative. Right. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you, Madam, very much. Thank you.